Hi, I'm uh, Neil Wolf. I own uh, Bob's Army and Navy here in Ossining. Uh, we're fortunate to have been uh, supported by the uh, villas in the surrounding area since 1946. We're in our 72nd year. And I'm proud to uh, carry on the legacy of, uh, of my dad who started the business in uh, June of 1946. Uh, today we're, uh, we're here because we've been asked to, uh, to discuss how to buy a boot, what to look for in, when, when, when someone comes in and, and, uh, and wants to buy a work boot or a sneaker or a, or a casual shoe and uh, because we are just so unbelievably knowledgeable and stuff like this, uh, we, uh, um, we're going to discuss what to look for as far as uh, as far as looking for something uh, 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 some work boot uh, I got an assistant here today he's really not a, uh, a customer but he's going to play a customer this is Anthony Frias and Anthony is our uh, uh, my manager uh, who also probably knows as much about this as I do but he's going to play the uh, he's going to play the uh, customer and I'm going to play the person who knows all of this stuff about the boots uh, Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah, how can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for a pair of work boots. Uh, I climb trees a lot, and actually I cut down trees as well. So I was wondering what kind of boots you would recommend for me. Okay, you work, uh, you're going to be in these every day? Every day, yes. Okay, uh, all year round you work? Um, in, the, in the winter, yeah. you're still do, you still do tree work? You still do yeah. lineless work, all the rest of that kind yep. of thing? Um, do you use bucket trucks or do you or, or do you climb also? I do bo both actually. Oh, you do both? Yes. Okay. Um, the first thing I would show you is what's called typically a lineman's boot mm -hmm. or a pole climber's boot. A little history as to how it got to be named those uh, when um, when all of the electrical when all the electrical connections and all the rest of that stuff were put on poles and some of them are now buried but they're still poles the way and before you had bucket trucks the way people the way guys per, people that that work for the electric company service the lines on those poles they would have to literally climb the poles in order to do that in order to do that they had they had clips that came on the on the heel of the shoe mm -hmm. so that you could actually you could actually put your um you could actually climb the you could actually climb the pole with the spikes that came out of this okay. um, uh, the regular one inch heel that you have over here didn't give enough didn't give enough meat and so the the reason that I pulled out the one with the t this one with the two inch heel for instance is because if you still do that, if you still use those cleats, you can you can um, um, uh, you can easily put that on there. Okay. In addition, they used to have the poles had you used to be able to um, 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 they had uh, hand grips that you were able to climb on like, okay. like ladders. Mm -hmm. uh, that's this is more traditional than anything else uh, as far as as far as construction is concerned. It's called it has a Goodyear welt, which means that the sole is replaceable and the heel is replaceable. Uh, this one, um, this one's one of the best ones we carry in the store. Uh, do you think you need? Uh, does your does your company require you to have safety toes? Yeah, for sure. It Still does toe, require yeah. to mm -hmm. have safety toes because all of this stuff comes in safety toe as well mm -hmm. as soft toe. Uh, they range in price from uh, literally our best boot, which is this one, and this is uh, well over three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a boot that you can wear every day, and uh, and uh, that you can resole it probably three or four times before it, it just can't be resold anymore. Um, um, this is insulated. It's waterproof. Mm -hmm. This is made in the U.S. of U.S. materials. Uh, that's something I would consider. But if that's a little bit too much money for you. Uh, yeah. Which I can understand. I heard a lot of good reviews about Red Wing boots. What do you what do you say about those? Red Wings are excellent. Uh, these come in in two colors. Uh, okay. They come in the brown that you see over here, mm -hmm. as well as the black. Uh, both of them come safety toe, and that which we carry as well as non-safety toe. Do they meet OSHA requirements? Uh, all of the OSHA requirements. They are the safety toes are rated at class 75, which is the highest. Okay. And. Um, uh, 
Uh, and it has, and it carries a yellow label Vibram Soul, okay. which is, personally I think is the best soul on the market. Yeah, I'm very familiar with that soul. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, this one comes in um, in multiple widths. Mm -hmm. I will be glad to measure your foot and show you how that's done. Okay. But that's the kind of thing that um, I would first look for. Okay. Um, do you plan and you plan to continue to do this for a, for a, for a uh, uh, length of time? Yes. Okay. That that this would be the one I would show you. Okay. Okay. Right. Now I hope that that gives you some idea of the kinds of questions that I ask when we start. Here's scenario number two. Uh, this time we're going to reverse the roles, and I'm going to be the uh, consumer, and Anthony is going to be the salesperson. Okay. Okay. How you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? How can I help you today? Uh, I just moved into the area. We just bought a house. We just bought a house in the village. We're thrilled. Uh, we have two children, uh, and I need to get a pair of boots where I can work around the house. On the outside, we need there. There's a lot of work that has to be done. We've got to get all the leaves out. My wife wants to to plant a garden, and I want to be able to work in all the. Re and I want to be able to work in the garden. And in addition to that, I have a daughter who is a great soccer player, and uh, we go to all of her soccer matches. And I'd like to get a boot that I can also use when we go there, because in a lot of in a lot of uh, cases we end up sitting on the on the bleachers cheering her on and sometimes they play more than one game and my toes get cold so do you have anything that might work yeah sure um, uh, we have a variety of brands we could offer you first off we can start with Timberland okay um, Timberland uh, the, we have two varieties of them the pro series and the casual series in your scenario we probably more recommend more of the, uh, the hiker shoe from T Timberland oh. uh, this is a waterproof um, Boo, it'll keep you warm. Um, it's very light. It's not going to be a burden on your feet. So if, if you're doing housework, it's going to be um, comfortable for you. And for something that you're doing, um, it'll be ideal for you. And also, if you go out with your with your daughter, um, this would be also an ideal shoe as well because it's not a work boot per se, but still it could come across as a casual boot. And so this is one scenario, one boot I could give you. Oh, okay. So you would you would say that would be. Th something like that would be okay as opposed to let's say for instance something like this which are the boots that you always see the the working guy wear that yeah. looks something like that this is a typical uh, uh, tan six inch boot from Timberland Pro 200 gram Thinsulate waterproof it has the, um, the traditional lug sole uh, right. which is a very traditional sole you'll see in a lot of boots right. um, you can still use this for both scenarios as well um, it's, uh, it's relatively inexpensive for $129.99 uh, so it's a good boot for, for your um, for your scenario as well. It also comes in black as well if you're um, picking up colors as well. And oh, brown I like as well. the tan. I like the tan better, but yeah. that's besides the, the tan point. They're both the same price. Same price, and, and they're both uh, um, very um, universal boots. You see a lot of those boots everywhere. So do you have anything similar to that from somebody else other than uh, Timberland? Yes, Pro? I do actually. Uh, uh -huh. We also carry a brand called Chippewa, uh, very reputable brand. Um, this has a Vibram sole on them, lug uh -huh. sole, 400 gram thinsulate. Waterproof, um, a very reputable boot. Um, it's also an ideal boot for, for for both your scenarios. Now this one is warmer than that one. Yes, it is. This is 400 gram. This one is 200 gram. This like, is there a difference in price? This boot is more expensive than this one. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't think I need something that's really expensive. I think this might do the. I think this one might do the trick. It's pretty light too, isn't it? Yes, it is. Huh. Okay, um, uh, does this come in widths? I have a wide foot. It does. It comes in medium and wide. And if you're looking for a, a, a even wider width, Chippewa comes in medium, wide, and extra wide width. Oh, I see. So if you have a relatively wide foot. I decided, yeah, it's not really wide, but it's, I, I would say a wide. It's not like, a, I don't have a very narrow yeah, foot. Yeah, we can always fit you. I, I'm not sure how, um, I'm really not sure what, what size I am. Do you have, is there a way that you can tell me, you measure my foot and tell yeah, of me course, how to do that? Of course, we do a scale. We can measure your foot on. What's, what's, the, what's that thing look like? It's this. And on this, um, you would stand on the bearing device. Your mm -hmm. right foot goes on this end of the, this end, and your heel has to go all the way to the back. And right. then your toe, your largest toe, um, gets measured uh, up to this, up to the rubber number hits. Oh, I see. Okay. And so, what do we, what do you use these for? These are actually to measure the widths of your of your foot. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Oh, I see. So, so an example for Timberland, Timberland Pro, it comes in medium and wide widths. Right. So, if you measure a wide foot, we have a wide, and when we have in the stock, we have a wide last for your foot. Right. Um, same thing with the other foot. Your left foot 
Um, you measure your, your, heel, your left heel goes all the way to the back, and then you measure your, um, to where your toe ends up. I remember when I was a, when I was a youngster, uh, my folks would always tell me that one foot was bigger than the other foot. That's true. It, it usually one foot one foot is slightly bigger by, by the other foot, but not by much. Um, so usually, if that happens, we go up, we go up, you go by what your largest foot size is. I see. So that way, you have enough room in both shoes. Okay. I have one other. I have one other question sure. also. Um, seen that the holidays are coming up, I'm thinking about getting my wife a pair of boots also, because I'm not the only one that's going to help around the house. Okay. And she certainly goes to all of our all of our all of our kids' uh, soccer matches. Um, do you carry women's Do you carry women's boots? Well, well, the majority of our boots that we carry are men's men boots. Right. But uh, we're we're some of the boots like this one from Timberland Pro. They come in women's sizes. They do. Yes, they do. So, um, ass assuming that um, if your wife is a size five, you can order the size five, or if we have them in the stock, we can always get them. But if there's another boot that she's interested in, and we can always convert the sizes. Usually, the, the con con from a men's to women's size conversion, is a, a size and a half. I so, see. So if she's a size uh, uh, seven in men's, a right. size, size, size seven in women's. Right. It'll be a size five in men's, or it'll actually five be a boy five size. Yes, yeah, five, five and a half. I see. So. Okay, and so you guys have, but you guys carry stuff like that, um, and you can convert that stuff. Correct. So we're, okay. we're, we're very accommodating with that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, here's scenario number three. Uh, this one is for specific boots for a specific purpose. For instance, this one is going to be for winter, for winter use only, okay? All right. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. I can help you today, sir. I would like to get a pair of boots. We are going skiing. Okay. And with the family. Okay. And we need boots, not like ski, ski boots or any of the rest of that stuff. We have those, but we need boots for when the kids are finished skiing and they want to go out and play, or or um, or we want to go we want to go for a walk through the village, mm -hmm. uh, and it probably will be snowy. In addition, I'm not sure whether you, they would fit the same way, but in case we're going to get a snowstorm, I would suspect, and and I want to have a pair of boots I'm able to put on that are waterproof, that I'm able to shovel the driveway and the walkway, okay. and that the family is going to be able to uh, to help me. Do you have anything that might help? Yeah, of course. Um, I have. We carry boots from Kamek, um, a very reputable brand. Uh, they're based out of Canada, and most of the boots are actually made in the U.S. So that's one of the oh, one, good. one of the beneficial factors that this company has. Right. Uh, we dealt with this company for years already. Um, so to start off with you, if you're looking for a boot for yourself, I'm yeah. not sure whether if you want a lace up or you're looking for a pull-on boot. Uh, me, probably. Uh, are you talking about something that's really lazy? I would probably just go for a for a, anything that I can get on and off easily, but that's that's waterproof. It's going to keep my foot warm. Of course. Warm. Uh, so we have pull-ups in a variety of heights. Uh, this one is the first one I would show you. Um, they call it the Dawson. It's a pull-on boot. It's very warm, uh, obviously waterproof. Um, one of the shorter ones we carry. Uh, we also have a one that's called the Green Bay. It's, it looks like a very, looks like a very traditional snow boot. Right. Uh, it's a very high, almost his mid calf, and um, a good boot as well. And also that's, also, yeah, that I think that's the kind of height that I would look for, yeah. as opposed to as opposed to a, a shorter one, because I, I also I also take the train to work and uh, and and I can put my 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 dress shoes in in my uh, in my briefcase and um and and wear those and that's fine I I don't want to you know anyway I, that could work too this is also um, this has a side zip it's also a commuter boot a commuter boot oh this I is see. an ideal boot for somebody like you who is commutes. that insulated of course this is insulated this is um 400 gram insulated um it has a very it has a cap toe and so it comes across as a, as a casual shoe and yeah. it's waterproof waterproof as well yes and and how 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 warm you know i mean how how warm is it going to be it's pretty warm it's it's, it's 400 gram insulate um it says here it's temperature tested to 25 degrees below zero yeah i think that'll keep me warm enough i think so all yeah, right anyway that's inter that's interesting oh yeah. well, well if um and those are a few examples for men's. Now, if you're looking for, you say your wife as well is looking for, yes. for snow boots. Uh, well, we also carry from Kamek as well snow boots from, um, from carry, sorry, we also carry women's boots from Kamek. Right. And we have two different styles. Um, this this one's called the Brooklyn from them. 
and they come in three different colors. It's a lace up. Uh, a lot of uh, females like these because of the, the lining. It's nice and, nice and, nice and fuzzy. And, and is that also waterproof? Waterproof as well, yes. And also is, will keep will keep her foot warm? Yes, of course. Oh. Uh, so this is a very good boot for from Kamek as well. And this one is also a nice boot. It's a little higher, a little more contemporary styled. Um, it's a higher boot. Side zip with, with the lace up. And actually, this is um, temperature tested to minus 22 degrees. So there'll be oh. no... There'll be no Question about her feet being cold. Okay, that's interesting. Um, and I have a, a we have a, 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 a daughter and a son, um, um, and they're uh, you know they're eight and uh, and and five. Do you have anything that might fit them? Yeah, of course. We have a couple of uh, uh, styles from Cami for in kid sizes as well. Um, these are called the Rockets from them. Um, your traditional plum boots as mm -hmm. well. Um, made in the U.S. It's actually temperatures tested. To minus minus forty degrees. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, and what they're really well. growing very very rapidly. Uh, are these reasonably priced? Yes, they are. They oh, are reasonably okay. priced. Yep. All right, and um, I can hand them down from the older to the younger. Of course, yes. All right. Yep. And uh, okay. That's yeah, good. that's uh, that's interesting. And you, and you have these in stock. Yes, we do. Oh, okay. and they all come in full sizes as well. So if you're if you're measured a half size, you go up to go up to the next full size. Oh, so okay. if you're so if you measure eight and a half, you right. go to size nine men's. Yeah, and, and, and all of these just have this have full sizes. Correct, all in full okay. sizes. All right, that's good. All right, okay. Thank you. Well, I hope I, I hope I helped you.